Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Adam Reeples Box, and welcome back to another tech video. This is going to be a very quick one because this is a kind of in progress product, but I still wanted to take a look and show it off a little bit nonetheless. This is a waterproof phone case slash pouch slash thing from New Island, which is the company that made that uh, selfie stick that I reviewed in a video past. If you haven't seen that video, click somewhere here to learn more about it. This video is made possible thanks to lynda.com. lynda.com makes it easy to pick up new skills, grow your hobbies, or learn to use new software through their in-depth and easy to follow video tutorials and courses. I try to post tutorials as often as I can, but you can't beat the extensive coverage on lynda.com. I still go through lynda courses on the regular to learn new things. You can get a special 10-day free trial by clicking the screen now or going to epostfox.com slash lynda to learn more. So this is their waterproof cell phone case. Since it's the summer, a lot of people are gonna be doing more activities involving water, although I guess it's not summer yet, but summer's coming up, and so water's going to be involved. Pools and water parks and sprinklers and water in the plants and things like that. This is IPX8 certified to 100 feet. Waterproof pouch design prote provides protective provides protection, words are hard, for all smartphones up to six inches, or iPod, MP3 players, etc. Composed of highly durable thermal plastic polyurethane, polyethylene, urethane, TPU material. Offers waterproof protection for your device while maintaining full touchscreen functionality. Simple yet safe snap and lock access. Now what interests me about this product, and then it has instructions on the back here, what interests me about it is the fact that it says you can still use the touchscreen while it's in the bag. So we're gonna try that out. And then they want suggestions of how they could improve the product if I have any. Can't say that I will for sure, but we will give it a go. Inside the box, we have a bag with our bag in it. A bag and a bag and a bag. And then I drop the bag. And then it also comes with a little lanyard to hold it or tie it to something. It's a nice little gray strap. Oh, it's even like double layered so you could run it around your neck or something. I'm just gonna hang that right there. So this is the pouch. It has two snap lock system, which is activated by doing something. It's on close. Ah, okay. So you just kind of pry it up and it opens up and then the clip comes off, I believe. Yes, it opens up. Okay, and then you slide your phone inside. So we'll slide out the paperwork, we don't need that. You can take underwater photos with it, it says. Not sure how well I'd trust my expensive smartphone with that, but it says it. Water dust and snowproof, devices usable through case. Please do waterproof tests before use. Yeah, I would say so. All right, let's slide my Samsung Galaxy S4 in here. All I'm curious about is whether or not I can use the touchscreen, so. It says to slide out the air as best as we can, and because you want it to be as airtight as possible, and then we put the clip back together here, and close it on up. This clip system is kind of obnoxious, to be honest. Like, I imagine that's one, this, I, this type of system is one of the best ways to ensure water stays out of the case, but it's very finicky, there we go, okay. So now we have a phone and a bag. Of course, all the dust that's on your phone is just gonna stay in here, but that's fine. So I press my unlock button and swipe to unlock. It has no problem recognizing my finger and like my touches. Open up my apps, swipe through it, no problem. Even the little hardware buttons on the bottom work. I'm impressed. The only thing that would be hard is hitting the lock button on the side here, but I can still do it. So I am impressed. Uh, my big thing is that the locking system's kind of funky. And then you just loop this through here. I like the, I do like that the strap is double strapped, so it's a lot more secure. But loop it through your loop-de-loop-de-loop. -loop -loop. And it feels like the kind of strap that you would use with, like, water-related toys and water guns and things like that. So it should be plenty durable. And... Boom, now my phone is waterproof. Now it does only go up to six inches, so if you have some of the bigger phones, you're gonna be stuck. They may carry a bigger model soon, but at the moment, this is only up to six inches, so some of the bigger phones are not going to be able to use it. But if you have a normal size phone, even my LG G4 here, it'll be a tight fit, but it should fit. Let me actually test that, because it's supposed to be a five and a half inch phone. It is primarily aimed at iPhones, like everything else, so, you know, that's their target size here. But sliding the LG G4 in here, 
Will it fit? Oh, and I did it perfect second time. Yeah, I didn't get the air out, but it fits. So even big old five and a half inch phones, while it'll cover the the little border a little bit, it'll still fit. So and it works. And I'm taking a picture through the bag. Cool. All right, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. This is the New Island Waterproof Pouch. If I do have any any feedback of my own, I would recommend maybe doing something to adjust the clip system a little bit. And it doesn't even, like I do have some gap here on the side, so I'm not even sure how sealed that might be. But that would be my suggestion. Like I said, I'm not gonna take the risk of doing a water test at the moment, especially with my G4, because I just got this in the mail today. But, does seem like an interesting concept and I love that you can use the phone through the pouch and so that's pretty cool to me so let me know let them know in the comment section down below if you have any other feedback of what you would like to see about this maybe it should come in some different colors for sure especially the strap but other than that guys thank you for watching be sure to comment like and subscribe check out links to the product and other things in the description below and I will see you in the next video that was awkward ending for some reason